President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and the custodian of the two holy mosques, Saudi King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, witnessed a signing ceremony of a number of joint agreements. The ceremony comes after a second round of summit talks was uh, held earlier. The details follow. As Egypt welcomed Saudi Arabia's monarch on a visit to the Arab world's most populous country, on Thursday, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and his royal guest held another round of expanded talks on Friday and signed a big number of agreements. King Salman on Friday announced plans to build a bridge over their sea to Egypt in a lavish show of support for Egypt. Salman was quoted as saying, I agreed with my brother, His Excellency, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to build a bridge connecting the two countries. This historic step to connect the two continents, Africa and Asia, is a qualitative transformation that will increase trade between the two countries to unprecedented levels. Al-Sisi, who minutes earlier had presented the king with the ceremonial Nile caller, suggested naming the structure the King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Bridge. Following Salman's announcement, representatives of both countries signed 17 investment deals and memoranda of understanding. They included an agreement to set up a university and homes in South Sinai as well as a power plant. Earlier in a televised speech, the CC said the visit comes as a confirmation of the pledges of brotherhood and solidarity before the two brotherly countries, stressing that the special nature of the Saudi-Egyptian relationship will enable them to confront together shared challenges and to deal seriously with whoever tries to harm Arab national security. The Saudi monarch's agenda also includes a visit to, head to the headquarters of the House of Representatives on Sunday, where sources reveal that His Royal Highness is expected to attend part of next Sunday's session, which will be discussing the government's program. The King is also expected to deliver a speech before the House. And on Monday, the monarch will receive the honorary doctorate from Cairo University.